my my ticket to get my COVID vaccine. Let's see what's inside. No English, no English, no English. No English, no English. There's no English. What do I do? Hello, and welcome to Found in Japan. My name is William, and today on Found in Japan, we're gonna be doing something a little different. Recently, the vaccine vouchers or tickets have come out in Japan, and maybe you've received yours, and you open it up and realize that there is no English inside. I live in south part of Osaka. There was no English. So what we're gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna teach you how to fill out this paperwork and what's inside, and I hope this can help you. I do wanna say I'm not a licensed medical translator, but I did take the time to translate everything, and I hope this can help you. Uh, please remember you are responsible for filling this in correctly, and you are responsible for checking all the information on your own when you go to get your vaccine so that you can be as safe as possible. So let's look at what's inside the envelope. The first paper should be your identification, mailing address, and notification that you receive the envelope. So everyone might look a little different depending on where you live, but you should keep this safe. There are two sets of identical medical information sheets that will need to be filled out, and we're gonna go over that in just a minute, so uh, hang on to these and we'll get back to them. There should also be a paper that has a whole bunch of information on it, and these are actually the stickers that will be used onto your paperwork to make sure that they keep everything intact, so please keep this safe as well. Inside, there should be a list of all the hospitals that are in the different areas of your city where you can register to get the vaccination. Uh, it should have the name of the clinic, hospital, or medical facility, which will be on the left side of each column. In the middle, it will talk about where it is located, as well as the right side, a phone number. At the top is actually a digital or QR code that should link to a website that'll allow you to do this. Uh, probably it's best to look in the ward in which you live at or the, the area so that you can get this filled out properly and be the closest place to home. The final paper we have is this one. And this is actually information about the vaccine itself and what you need to look at. There are some QR codes on here. Uh, it outlines the timetable for different groups that will be vaccinated. And there is some important information that you should look at from here down. So it outlines uh, where you are, what the city's like. Uh, for me, I live in Sakai, so it's talking about that. On the back, it talks about what you need to bring, as well as talking about uh, here, which is very important, the medical conditions that you might need to be concerned about when getting the vaccination. There doesn't seem to be any marker about writing in English, so you probably need to write these in kanji or the Chinese characters. If you can't, maybe you can ask a friend or a coworker who could help you out. These two papers are very important and these are what you are going to have to fill out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan these into the computer and we can look at them and go over them and hopefully you can fill them out quickly. So here we go. So the parts that you need to do are the ones that have the heavy border outline on them. The first field is for your Jusho or where you are living right now. The next section is for your name. You probably should write your name as however it was written on the envelope when you received it. And then above that, it says Furigana in Katakana. So please write your name in Katakana there. To the right, it says Denwa, and you should write your phone number or how you can be contacted. Below that is the Senengapi or your birth date. It says to write it in Western years. Beside that is the month you were born and the day. Inside the parentheses, it asks you to write your age. The next section is for sex. This is male or female. So to the right of that is the Shinsatsu Mai no Taiyon, or your body temperature before the exam. So you should write this in Celsius. So that concludes the top section here. Next, we're gonna move into the health examination section. So the first kanji at the top say Shitsumon Jiko, or questionnaire. To the right, it says Kaito Ran, which means your answer column. And on the rightmost column, it says Ishikin Yuran, or doctor or physician's entry field. 
In the first row, it asks, is this your first time getting a COVID-19 vaccination? If you've already had one, you would write the date below. If you've had two, you write the date to the right. And you write hi, or yes or no. The next line is asking if the coupon or ticket you received is for the city, town, or village that you currently reside in. The third row is asking if you've read all the warnings or information that was given to you. The following field is asking if you fall into one of these categories. The first category is if you are a medical professional. The next is if you're 65 years or older. The following is if you're 60 to 64 years old. The next field is if you are a caregiver or you assist elderly people. The last one in this field is asking if you have some underlying disease or issue and to name what it is. The fourth field in this area is asking about pre-existing conditions and medications. So we have the names of the diseases or medical issues. The first one is Shinzo Byo or any type of heart disease. The next area is Jinzo Byo or kidney disease. The next one is Kanzo Byo or liver disease. The next one is Ketsueki Shikkan, or some type of blood disease or blood disorder. The next is Chi ga tomara nikui byoki. This is the inability for blood to stop or hemophilia. The next one is Mei eki huse, or some type of immune disorder. The next one is Sonahoka, any other type of disease, problem, byoki, or some issue that you might be having. It probably would help to write this in Japanese if possible. The next is to describe any type of medications that you are currently taking. The first one is Chi o sarasare ni suru kusuri or blood thinners and what the name is. To the right of that sits sonahoka or any other type of prescribed medicine you're taking. The next field is asking you if your doctor or any prescribing physician has said that it is okay to get the vaccine. The next field is asking, in the last month, have you had a fever or any other type of sickness? And if so, to please identify it. The next field is asking, how is your condition today? And if you have any concerns, to write it to the right. The next section is for Kaden, convulsions or seizures. If you've had one, then you need to check yes. The following section is asking about have you ever had an allergic reaction to a food or medicine such as anaphylactic shock and if so what was the food or medicine that was taken. The next section is asking if you have ever become sick or unwell from a vaccination. Please list what the vaccination was and symptoms from that vaccination. The next section is asking if you believe that you currently could be or are pregnant or if you are currently breastfeeding. The next section is asking if you've had any type of vaccination in the last two weeks. If so, what type and when? And the final field is asking if you have any other questions or concerns about today's vaccination. That does it for filling in your information about your address and what's going on as well as your medical information. The next section is for your physician. So what we're going to do is look at the next large or heavy bolded box. For the last section that you need to fill out, it's asking you if you have read all the information and have you truthfully filled out everything above. If so, you check the box on the left and if you're still unsure or you have some issues, you would check on the right. Then you would sign that day's date as well as your signature. The very bottom down here is for the physician to fill out about what the type of shot your amount received and the information related to that. Please remember that it's your responsibility to check all the information and make sure that it is filled out properly. Please contact your actual physician or local doctor if you have some issues or concerns. Thank you for watching this quick explanation of the vaccine ticket in Japan and I hope this helped you out. I hope to see you in another video so we'll see you again. Bye. Mata ne. Yes, it's here. My ticket to get my Corona vaccine. There's no, no English. Well, I don't know why I just smelled that.